This is Unit 1, Lesson 2.1, Naming the Moves. And so what you're going to do is look at A as it rotates around and eventually covers B and answer the question of how many degrees is A moving in order to cover B? And the answer to that question is 120 degrees. And so my suggestion is to have kids do this same activity in Joseri. I'm going to provide the images to you um, that you can then get to your students and they can repeat the same activity. So there's the compass, there's the A and B figure, there's the A figure, and they're linked in the text below this figure or this video. And so there's a circle and I use that circle to place or to um, size the images as I put them into Joseri. Compass, then figure A, B, and then figure A. Okay, rotate A a little bit and identify the angle. So where do kids look? What's the angle they're looking at? Well, they're looking at the leading edge in this case. You can look at anything in the image, but it's easiest to look at that leading edge as it rotates around. So there's 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 100 degrees. One hundred ten degrees, and finally one hundred twenty degrees. I'm going to highlight that last angle with the yellow. That's the angle of rotation to go from A to B. I'm going to go back and label those angles. So if kids are doing this, they have to actively think about it. So it's ninety, one hundred, one hundred ten, one hundred twenty degrees. And you can zoom in and you can take a screenshot of that and talk about it. All right, so how do you get rid of the background of images? This is in preview on a Mac. So you import the image into preview or you open up the image in preview. Go to the markup tool, go to the wand. I'm going to show you this three times. This is one time. And drag the area that you want to get rid of. I'm going to show this to you again. So here's the AB figure. Go to the markup menu, click on the right, right there. Go to the left and select the wand. Drag across the what you want to delete. Press delete and it gets rid of that. Here's the A image markup tool. Wand, drag it across, press delete. Now in this case, I actually want to crop this. I want to get rid of that little piece in the lower left corner. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and select the rectangle. Now there's double lines that show up. That just means I'm outside the border of the image, which is OK. Raise that up a little bit. So I'm going to grab the left edge and move that over and get rid of that little piece down there. Now if I press delete now, it will delete that figure A. I don't want to delete that. I want to delete what's outside of it. So if you go up to the edit menu and select invert selection, and then press delete, now it gets rid of everything outside. Make sure that you save the image. So there's the compass. There's the AB image with no background. And there's the A image with no background. Okay, so I made those, I put those all into the into my iCloud folder, went to Doseri, changed the background of Doseri by using that icon to the right of record. I'm going to draw that circle. Now remember, if you tap a second finger to the screen while you're drawing the circle, it will snap to the shape of a circle. A line will snap to the center of the circle. So now you can place a point at the center, which you need to know where the center of the circle is. So now I'm going to get rid of that by drawing a lasso around it. Now I'm going to place the compass. Now I'm just putting all of the images into the camera roll right now so I can access them in Doseri. So go back to Doseri, import the compass.
nice thing about images is they will snap to 90 degree angles. So turn it 90 degrees, put it over the center point, size it, okay, import A and B, put that over the center, size that using that blue circle. And then finally import A, size that. Now I'm gonna rotate A, select it. Oh, I'm gonna put a point at zero. Rotate A. I'm gonna rotate it 30 degrees. So now I can show students a little bit better what angle am I looking at they can do this themselves. Draw the angle, snaps to those points. It's a 30 degree angle. So I'm going to select A again, copy it, paste it. Nice thing about images is they paste right on top of each other. Rotate 90 degrees. So that's pretty easy to look at that 90 degree angle there. So select, copy, paste again. Rotate it, so now it's a 100 degree rotation, 110 degree rotation, and 120 degree rotation. Highlight that with that yellow. And I'm going to label the degrees of rotation. 0 degrees, 30, 60. So now you can talk about those two different numbers on a compass. What do they mean? They always add to 180 degrees. Why? 110 degrees. 120 degrees. Highlight that. That's the angle that you want to look at. That's the 120 degree rotation. Zoom in a little bit and you can talk about that image.